I have three brothers. They are named Dylan, Jaden, and Dan. We live in a small house just near some woods. This story gives me the chills every time I think of this night. Me and my brothers were playing tag in the woods. Jaden being the oldest, he volunteered to be on. Obviously me being the youngest out of us, I didn't complain, as I would just hide out in a tree until the rest were on. The game started, and I ran deep into the woods. It was around 6 p.m. in the middle of October, so it was getting dark pretty fast. Some time went by and I noticed some movement, about seven meters away from me. Me being a ten-year-old, I obviously assumed Jaden had made his way over to me, but I realized someone was up. Jaden is around 5'2", and this person looked way over 5'2", if not 6'1", to say the least. He was wearing all black, and he had something sharp in his pocket. I thought nothing of it until I heard Jaden say my name from the other side of the woods. Oh, shit. I whispered, suddenly realizing that this person wasn't one of my brothers. I couldn't tell if he knew or saw me up there, but I was willing to take my chances. Just then, I stupid tree branch gave way and I fell on the grass below. I didn't care if he saw me. I got up and started screaming. I turned around to see that man running at me with a kitchen knife in his hand. My oldest brother Jaden suddenly appeared from the gate. His face turned from laughing to scared. He bolted towards the man and literally rugby tackled the man to the ground. Dylan then came running from the same gate and had the exact same reaction as Jaden. He called the cops on his phone while I was crying to my other brother Dan as he appeared from nowhere moments before. After some time, the cops arrived and arrested the guy. What makes the story even more scary is the fact that that man had already had been arrested some time ago for stabbing people in the woods. I'm just grateful my brother Jaden and my other brothers were there before it was too late. My mom works two jobs a week because my dad died over 16 years ago at the time I'm writing this. We had just moved into a new house in the neighborhood of San Diego, and we didn't have much income, so our house wasn't the best. Our previous owners told us that the house didn't come with a basement or an attic. My bedroom is on the second floor, whereas my mum's room is on the first floor. On the second night, it was going well, but then... I heard a cough from above me but the scary part is that the previous owner obviously stated that there was no basement. I heard footsteps up there. What the fuck? I said to myself. What was making that noise? What was even above me? I got up from my bed and started looking around. Then I saw something odd. In my closet, the top of it looked like there was a gap, revealing something behind it. I grabbed a stool and used it to gain height. I pushed the trap door open to reveal an attic. Now my mind was flooding with questions. Why was there an attic? Why did the neighbors keep this a secret? My curiosity got the better of me, and I pulled myself up and I noticed a door. I walked over to it, and I remember a horrible stench. I walked closer and the room revealed a person sitting on the floor surrounded by four dead bodies. I screamed as loud as anyone would have. I woke up my mum and she called the police. The man got arrested that day. I couldn't sleep after that night. Be careful out there.